Strider is something of the black sheep of the Capcom families. In two decades or so, there's been two Strider games, and finally, Double Helix are uh, bringing it out of uh, obscurity and uh, putting it onto the Xbox One and Xbox 360. And to be honest, we're, we're less than impressed. Yeah, I think Capcom fans around the world have been screaming out for a Strider game, and many of them will probably come to this and still find a lot to enjoy in it. There's a lot of references back to those classic titles. But we really wanted something a little bit more from Double Helix after a pretty successful run at uh, Killer Instinct, and after Capcom's pretty successful uh, HD remakes of games like Planet Commando, we really thought this would go up another level and introduce that same quality to the Xbox One in particular, and that just hasn't been the case. Totally. I mean, in many regards, this is a straight up remake of the uh, first Strider game, which, which as said, came out two decades ago, so a long, long time. And, um, you know, a lot of the core gameplay is very similar. You know, the controls are very familiar. Uh, Strider handles as well as he ever has. The, the problem is just the, the core combat systems, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay are just so unbelievably mundane now that it's just not fun to play at all. You know, in, so basically you're running through and the game looks gorgeous but you're running through and you're just mashing X. You mash X until you win and, and that's just not not fun anymore, you know, especially when there's so many good games out on, on the um, Xbox 360 platform, you know. I think the core of the game is essentially an action platformer. It's got some Metroidvania elements mm -hmm. to it. It's actually, there's some exploration to do, there's some leveling up and, you, and new abilities that get you access to new areas that you weren't able to explore before. And that's there, it's sort of, it's it's there in a relatively light way. It's not quite a shadow complex. It doesn't really add a huge amount to the gameplay. And as just said, it's just the, the combat, the moment to moment, is really the issue. The exploration is good. It's you know it's interesting, but not yeah, quite enough. I mean, the exploration is fine in itself. I mean, this, I mean, this is the other big issue is that the they've basically gone for the um, like sort of Soviet look, and everything's very like this sci-fi Soviet feel to it, and. It's very cool when you first, you know, touch down in the city, but it just eventually becomes very drab and mundane, and it all sort of merges into this one environment. And you've got sewers, and you've got like rooftops, and inside all of these military complexes, but it all just looks the same. And it's really discouraging when you're going back trying to look for concept art and upgrades and what have you, and it's just nothing looks that different. It's all very samey, and it's a shame because the original Strider obviously had the sort of like Serbian, um, like snowy plains, and it had the sort of Amazonian jungles, and those sorts of environments, which they've teased in the past, would have really sort of, you know, brought a bit more character to the game. So, again, I think that's the biggest problem with Strider, is just a lack of character. It's got nothing in itself to define it against, a, you know, a really fantastic product like Shadow Complex. It does seem to be trying to capture that, though. I mean... One thing it has actually translated relatively well is the sense of speed from the original uh, Strider games. Yeah. Speed is still a massive, massive part of momentum, moving through the game as fast as possible. There's an achievement for completing it in under four hours, I think. It's in under four hours, and I mean, in fact, the game doesn't even like track anything other than completion speed on the leaderboards either, so right. it's just pure how fast can you get through this game. And, you know, a lot of the enemies, as we said, you can just kill in one hit with the X button, it does introduce some tougher enemies, it does introduce... Um, enemies you can only take down with charge attacks, but again, when you realize that it is just clocking you on that speed, a lot of the time it's easier just to run past them and just forget about it. Just like, mm. how fast can I get to the next boss battle? Give me my next upgrade, let me get to the end of the game so I can turn it off. Like, that's that's what felt like it was driving me through. As the other element of try and bring some personality to it is the art style, which I personally quite like. There's a, it's a bit of a mixture, it's some, some 3D with some cell shaded yep. uh, elements. Um, I quite like some of the smoke effects, they were quite cool. Um, but how did you find that? Was Do you think it added enough? I thought it was nice, you know, it's, and that's what makes the whole package just feel like a bit of a letdown, because it is a beautiful, beautiful game, you know, the animation especially, they've got Strider's jumps and his, his sort of swift movement, perfect, it's all down, you know, just exactly how you'd hope. But it's just everything else around it. it just um, you know, it's just not enough. It's it's all style, no substance. Yeah. So not poor, but not great. What have you given it? We've given it a five out of ten.